Thank you so much for joining me today. Roll out your yoga mat. Have your yoga props close by and find absolutely any comfortable seat. As always, if I give you something that doesn't feel good on your body or causes any pain or discomfort whatsoever, I encourage you to either skip it or modify accordingly. Remember that it's so important to never stretch past what feels good when we practice yoga. We want to find stretches that feel good on our bodies rather than intense. So from any comfortable seat, or perhaps even laying down flat on your back with knees bent, soles of the feet on the floor, softly close your eyes, let go of the belly and the chest, and let's find some deep breaths together. Start off by letting out all of your stale air. Find a deep inhale through the nose, guide the breath into the belly, into the chest, part the lips and exhale through the mouth like you're fogging up a mirror. Two more like that if that felt good. Inhale through the nose, guide the breath into the belly, into the chest, part the lips and exhale, let it all go. One more, inhale through the nose, send the breath into the belly, into the chest, and exhale, release. Come back to your natural breath and take a moment to focus on what you're thankful for right now. Even when life is giving us lemons, there's always so much to be thankful for and just savor. And gently flutter the eyes open like a butterfly opening its wings. And come to lay down on your back. Starting off, let's find banana pose. And just to begin, Softly pull the knees into the chest and sway a little bit from side to side, massaging the sacrum and lengthening the spine. Really nice. Guide the soles of the feet back down to the mat and straighten out your legs. For banana pose, slowly guide the feet over to the right, connect the inner thighs, and send the head and the shoulders over to the right as well, creating a banana shape with your body. Hold on to opposite elbows and send the forearms back behind the crown of the head. If this is too much on your upper body or if your upper body hurts or tingles, just bring the hands to the belly instead. If your lower back is bothering you, come out of the pose a little bit. And if that's still too much, just bend the knees, place the soles of the feet towards the middle of the mat and send just the upper body to the right instead. Find your breath and melt into the pose. Slowly slide the legs back through center. Slide the head and shoulders back through center. And then same thing over on the other side. Guide the legs to the left, head and shoulders to the left. Connect the inner thighs. Make sure that the glutes, the lower back and the shoulder blades are down on the floor and not lifted. If the upper body lifts, hurts or tingles, bring hands to the belly. If your lower back is hurting you, just slide out a little bit. And if that's still too much, just bend the knees, place the soles of the feet towards the middle of the mat and send just the upper body to the left instead. Connect with your breath. Really nice work.
slowly slide back to the middle of your mat. Release the hands down, bend the knees, place the soles of the feet on the earth and slide the hips forward away from the chest a little bit. Guide the palms to your thighs below your hip bones and push your legs forward using the strength of the upper body. If it feels okay, lift the ribs a little bit and then relax. Coming into half happy baby pose, pull the right knee into the chest and release the fingers in front of the right knee. Straighten out the left leg, guide it down to the floor, and then create dorsiflexion with both feet, drawing toes up and back towards the shins, keeping the ankles active. Find slow circles with your right knee, really nice. And then reverse the direction of your circles. Come back to stillness. Bring the right palm behind the right knee and stack the right heel over your right knee. Bring the left palm to the left hip. Keep the left sit bone rooted down to the floor and send the right knee over towards the right side and then pull it down towards your mat. If you have more to give, you can bring the right palm to the outer right ankle or the outer edge of the right foot, lowering the knee down closer to the floor. But if your sit bone just lifted, then glue the sit bone back down and maybe just lift the heel a little higher. Your choice, your body, find your breath. Release, pull both knees in towards the heart and rock a little bit from side to side. Interlace the fingers in front of the left knee and straighten out the right leg, guiding it to the mat. Flex the feet, critting that dorsiflexion active ankles and find slow, gentle circles with your left knee. And then reverse the direction of your circles. Come back to stillness. Bring the left palm behind the left knee. Stack the left heel over the left knee and bring the left knee over to the left and down towards the floor. Half happy baby. If you have more to give, bring the left palm to the outer left ankle or the outer edge of the left foot, guiding the knee down closer to the earth. Keep the feet flexed and continue breathing. Make sure the right sit bone is down on the floor. Gently release, pull both knees into the chest and rock a little bit from side to side. Lift the feet up to the sky for a moment. And if it feels good, maybe circle through your ankles and then reverse the direction of the circles. Find full happy baby, we should be nice and prepared. Bring the hands to the outer knees, open the knees wide, pull them down towards the floor, keep the heels stacked over the knees, create dorsiflexion with the feet. And if you have more to give, bring palms to the outer ankles or the outer edges of the feet. And if your lower back just lifted, bring hands right back to your knees. Find your breath. And then release, pull the knees in, sway. And lower down into Shavasana. Final resting pose. Open the heels and the hands out as wide as the short edge of your yoga mat. Close your eyes, connect with your breath, and completely relax and release.
And gently wiggle the fingers and the toes. Bend the knees, roll over onto one side. And rise up into any comfortable seat. Thank you so much again for joining me today. I hope that you're able to take this peace that you've cultivated for yourself into the rest of your day.